Hello and welcome to the channel. Recently I've been getting into alcohol stoves and I've been playing around with this one that I got from Amazon. But I'm a big fan of DIY, so I decided I want to look at some DIY options. Now there's lots of different designs out there, there are lots of different ways to make alcohol stoves and I want to see which one is the best. So I want to do a little bit of a series where I make all the different designs and then at the end I'm going to have an alcohol stove shootout. So today we're going to make making a quite basic one just using two cans. Now a lot of people refer to these as penny stoves and that's the stove we're going to start the series with. As the series goes on we'll start making some better and more efficient stoves. So before I start I just sanded these down just to remove any of the paint and branding off them. One little tip if you're going to do this do it when the can is full and not open because it makes it so much easier. So first I'm going to get rid of what's inside the cans. I can't actually remember what this one is. Oh. oh, pardon me. I don't really drink too much fizzy pop anymore. <laughs> so to start this, what we need to do is we need to cut these cans. Now, you've got two different options to do this. What you need to do is get something that is the right height. Option one is to get a pen and mark around the can by just turning it and letting the pen draw a nice even line all the way around the can. And then you can roughly cut the top off and then using scissors, then neatly and carefully cutting the line. Option two is to get a blade. It's the same principle as with the pen. As we go around, let the blade lightly score the can. So we've got a really nice light score mark all the way around. And now that the can is pierced, we can just allow the blade to just go around, cut it on that line. And there we go. That is now cut and that is one half done. So basically we need to do that again with the second can. And there we go. We now have two bottoms of the can. So one of these is going to be the base. One of these are going to be the top. They're going to go together. One's going to have some holes in the top to allow the alcohol to escape and burn. And the other one is where the alcohol is actually going to sit in. So we need to poke some holes into the top of here. So I'm just using this little spike that I've got just to poke a hole into the top in the middle. There we go, that's one. I'm just going to do a few more. So there we go. We've just got some little holes in the top and that is where you're going to fill the alcohol in the stove. But now we need to cut the burner holes. So I'm just going to mark out where I want these to go. So there we go, I've just marked out roughly where I'm going to want these holes to go. And again, just using my little spike, I'm just going to pierce each one of these holes in. So there we go, we've got lots of holes around the outside of the can. So that should allow the alcohol to come out and actually burn. So now we need to put these two together, but because they're the same diameter, they're going to struggle to fit. So what I'm going to do is, on the bottom can, I'm just going to lightly do some very slight indents, just like this, just around the can. And that should allow us to squeeze this into here. So let's see if we can get these two together. Okay, so push that down until it's nice and tight. You just want it to sit on the bottom and just create a nice seal at the bottom. Okay, perfect. So that is it done. So now all we need to do, put some alcohol in it and light it. And the reason why they call them penny stoves is that you can put a penny over the top of them holes there and that just blocks that hole and allows the alcohol to burn out of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put a little bit of alcohol in the bottom of here. Just to let this light easier. Start to go now, it should die down a little bit as it goes. So now this is like a nice little heater um, and also can be used as like a little stove as well. So. 
So now that you've got your, got your pot and you want it to heat some water up, you can just stick that straight on the top and that's going to put a nice flame all the way around the bottom and just slowly start heating the, heating the water up. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. Okay, so this little thing works and it's awesome. I absolutely love it. So you can make this in an emergency. You can make it with things that you can find everywhere, really. And it's just such a neat little thing just to make and use. I think, I think it's great. So out of curiosity, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to boil half a litre of water and just see how long it takes. So let's fill this back up. Okay, so I'm just going to light the stove. Okay, I've started the timer. Mesmerizing. I don't know what's going to happen first, we run out of alcohol or it boils. We don't seem to be far off boiling to be fair, coming up with 10 minutes. I'm just wondering how much alcohol is actually left in this thing. And is there enough left in there to be able to actually get this water boiling? I think it's going to be close. We're just approaching 12 minutes now. The stove seems to look like as if it's dying and then all of a sudden it just picks itself back up again. Just approaching 13 minutes the thing's going to go. Oh, it's so close to boiling as well. Yeah, the flame's so low now. I mean, that is, that is so close to boiling. I love you. I love Sorry you too. For really tight. No, it's fine. It feels like it's been nearly boiling for like forever. I've just boiled. 15 minutes. Finally, finally, we're actually boiling. Let's have a look. Finally, actually started to boil. I mean, it, it took its time. It definitely took its time. 16 minutes, 15 seconds. But it got there in the end. And you know, as an emergency stove or, or an emergency heater, it's made out of two cans. The main thing is, it works. Now, is there more efficient designs out there? Yes, probably. But we're going to find that out. So, like I said, I'm going to keep making DIY alcohol stoves, try out all different designs. And then at the end, once I've got a couple of them made, I'm going to have a DIY alcohol stove shootout and we'll see which one is the most efficient. So if you have got any ideas or any designs that you can think of, just drop it down in the comments. But that is it for this little alcohol stove. So I had great fun making this and hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do like and subscribe. So until next time, see you later.